So that, to me, uh, was added uh, impetus for me to, uh, to take the positions I've taken from this. And so I know uh, that the careers that we're looking forward to uh, can be uh, uh, created uh, in this industry. I, I said to a group, uh, I don't recall, uh, maybe one or two of you were there the other day, that when we use Three Mile Island as our uh, benchmark for how to conduct ourselves, um, uh, that's, that's not a good uh, example uh, to be used to um, criticize or to stop movement toward nuclear. Uh, the fact of the matter is, if you really think about it, uh, when the engineers designed uh, those reactors, uh, the fact of the matter is they were designed to generate energy. But they were also designed with various safety valves. Uh, and when you really think about it, Three Mile Island worked because the safety valves put in place in case something went wrong worked. So what are we talking about here? So we are going to just walk away uh, from what really worked. I don't think so. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, various members of our caucus, when we started talking about this, uh, I want uh, they'll identify themselves when they care to, but there were four members of the New York delegation who came to me in this discussion and says, we're with you. Uh, this is something we need to do. And so I'm very pleased. Now, how did that happen? It happened because we were able to create a climate that allowed people to want to sit down and work with each other. I often tell groups that when you think about the House Democratic Caucus, uh, I want you to think about us not just as Democrats because uh, that's a relative term. Uh, the fact of the matter is, we got 41 African Americans in our caucus. Uh, we got about 51 of what we call blue dogs in our caucus. Now, African Americans and our blue dogs come from the same, pretty much the same section of the country, but they've had a different set of experiences, and they don't see the world the same way. Uh, and it's my job to get those 41 and the 51 on the same page. Uh, and there are some times when that's, uh, that's not all that easy. Uh, but when we get there, and then when we get them on the same page, uh, we've got a pretty good piece of legislation. Uh, when you think about the backgrounds and experiences that go into uh, the, getting that legislation. And that's why uh, when everybody was running around yesterday wondering what the vote was going to be in the committee, I wasn't wondering about it at all. Uh, because we left home, as we like to say down south. Uh, we left home uh, with the votes uh, in place. And so all I wanted to know was uh, uh, how it was going to, what the number was going to be. So last night, uh, I said to somebody, and they says, well, uh, how do you feel uh, about the way the vote went today in the committee? I feel a little bit like my wife felt on the day that uh, we were looking at the results uh, in my first race for Congress back in 1992. My cousin Bill Clyburn, who uh, serves in the state legislature from Aiken, who knows your issues very well in the former employee at the Savannah River plant, and I was sitting down looking at the results uh, of the elections, and we got to my home precinct. And Bill looked at it and says, my Lord, Jim, uh, you just wiped them out. You got 900 and something to 10. He said, man, that's something else. My wife looked at him in deadpan. I want to know who those 10 are. <laughs> and so uh, I feel that way. I told someone last night, I got to go and talk to those six uh, and make sure that we uh, uh, do better going forward. But uh, let me close uh, by saying that I 
We started working early in this uh, Congress because we knew this issue was going to be, uh, could be very tough. Uh, we're not home yet, uh, but we're in a good place. Uh, and I think that we are going to get a pretty good piece of legislation uh, that all of you uh, can be proud of, uh, a pretty good piece of legislation that I think will achieve those three things that I talked about earlier. Uh, help get this country uh, off its dependence uh, on foreign oil. Help get us to a, a good place uh, where, when it comes to uh, this environment uh, that we all have inherited uh, and hopefully will leave better uh, than we found it. And help get us to a place uh, where we can begin to create not just new jobs uh, going forward, but new careers and for those people who are destined to come after us. And so thank you all so much uh, for uh, what you do. Uh, the stakes are high, uh, the expectations are great, uh, but I do believe uh, that this Congress uh, and this President, uh, this administration uh, will produce a piece of legislation that all of us can not just be comfortable with, but can be proud of. And thank you so much for allowing me to be here with you.